This is your Indenco Polychromatic Frit Shading System Kit. I'd like to show you what we have before we start shading our crowns. First thing here is your shading booklet that we have all of the 3D shades and of course classic shades and the block selection that you would use to mill your parts. Now with the 3D shades, we show you the block and the shade level off of your palette that comes in the kit and the incisal color to match the incisal for this particular shade in the 3D. Every shade's completed uh, in this booklet, so you don't have to guess. we have a special shade index liquid that allows you to see what the fired crown is going to look like. We provide you a scoop for the refill powders in your kit and when you go to refill a used reservoir you put one scoop of your powder and three drops of your shade index liquid and that will give you a smooth flowing consistency product. Your palette comes fully loaded and all you need to do is take the shade index liquid and drop one or two drops in each reservoir because they're not in a workable consistency when we vacuum pack it. This will give you a wet flowing consistency and something is very important whenever you're picking up color only use just the tip of the brush. When you go from one color to the next we have a little reservoir here with your shade index liquid in it. Clean out your brush to go before you go to the next individual shade. What I'd like to show you now is how we actually apply the shading materials and glaze them and we will be using this fluorescent spray finish glaze on top of our Frit Palace as a added benefit to the lifelike effects that you can get using your Denco kit. This is an option and I'm going to show you how to use this in addition with your palette. In addition to your shade guideline and uh, palette guide the chart here enables you to have a guideline for lithium disilicate, PFMs, and zirconia ceramics of what shade level works best for this individual type of porcelain. Before we do the actual shading demonstration for you, I'd like to show you something about your refraction index shading illumination system that you re received. The crown on the left has your polychromatic shading. The crown on your right has ordinary common stain which is a masking reflection system. So you have two things working for you, okay, refraction, illumination of the polychromatic shading crystals and then while you're working you, your SIL or shade index liquid enables you to see what your unit will look like before it's fired. This is what you can expect in these results is a tremendous increase in lifelike replication. In effect, 
as a technician, it took me a while to realize it wasn't important to match shape guides, it was important to match teeth and replicate the illumination as close as possible. Your polychromatic shading system will enable you to do this with greater ease. When you receive your kit, it will be fully loaded with all the levels that are available in the system. Level 1, Level 2, and Level 3. These are chroma or shade intensity levels that different 3D shades require different chroma levels to achieve them using, you know, like when you're doing your Emacs milling. You have a base shade and then the intensity level off of the palette dials in your shade. But these, pal these colors will be a fairly thick paste and you need to take your shade index liquid I'm adding just two drops and you stir it up Okay, so that you have a wet flowing material that when you put an instrument or a brush into it that it doesn't peak up. This needs another drop. There we are. I'm going to go ahead and wet the rest of the tray and then I'll show you how we use the colors on the Amax milled ceramics to achieve the shades. Alright, I've gone to the shade booklet. Uh, the selected shade is 3R1.5 that we're going to duplicate. And we're going to use a block shade of A3 to mill the unit. And then we're going to use A level 2 to shade the body and your Z level 2 incisal for the incisal effect. Okay, first thing is important. We have a small pointed brush. We're only going to dip the tip of the brush into the color. And when we apply it, we use a smooth vertical stroke. Now our chart told us to use the A level 2 shade for the body shade. And you know, check it with our shade guide. And then we can proceed to shade the incisal. Now, to place the inside again, we only use the tip of the brush to pick up the color. And with a smooth stroke, brush from the body up to the incisal, and then down the mesial and distal. confirm our shade match and now we're ready to put it on a peg and glaze it. Alright now we've evaporated the liquid taking the shine off of it that's all that's necessary. Here's our fluorescent uh, spray glaze and two or three little short bursts putting on a thin dry as it goes on very dry so it won't disturb the unfired powder below and then we'll put it on the peg check the inside of the crown to make sure we don't have any uh, glaze inside and fire a crown now we're ready to put it on the peg all right, we're going to fill the crown using Super Peg 2 from Indenco.
you may want to take, take your brush, inspect the edge, anything under that may be underneath, you want to wipe it. And now we're ready to fire this crown. Alright, using just the very tip of the brush, we're going to pick up some of this 5M uh, dark brown to add a crack line. And just start up at the incisal. And draw a bead. and then wipe one side away to get the width of the crack line that you want to see. And then this is a separate firing. I don't recommend that you try to do this with the other colors because it'll tend to bleed off and fade out. But this is a separate firing technique. Now, before we go with the final glazing procedure, one of the real nice options is the fluorescent spray glaze from Indenco. Before we use the fluorescent spray glaze, we want to hold our crown underneath the muffle that's uh, to let it evaporate and lose the surface gloss. And then we'll put the fluorescent spray glaze and you pick it all up in one firing. This is a shade that we just finished with a separate enamel crack line using the Indenco Polychromatic Frit Shading System. This unique system offers you refraction illumination versus opacious reflection masking from common staining. Thank you for your time and looking forward to working with you.